My name is Susanna Pirtikangas. I work as a research director at the Faculty of Information Technology and Electrical Engineering at the University of Oulu. Uh, we are located in a city with 200,000 people in northern Finland. I was asked to explain why I work in computer science. So I guess my path led here from high school. I really liked all the subjects that they taught in school, like history, biology, chemistry, physics, and math. But for me, I guess math was challenging. I had to work a lot uh, compared to the other subjects. So to understand what, what uh, does everything really mean. So, as it was challenging, I decided to uh, apply for um, the university to study math. So I, uh, I finished my studies in mathematics and uh, computer science around 98. And then I applied for the, for the computer science for a PhD position. And there I stayed under the supervision of Professor Juha Röning and his team. Intelligent Systems Group. I studied intelligent methods, so I actually studied neural networks, adaptive filters, time series analysis, spectral time series analysis, to really understand how to model different kinds of phenomena that occur in real world. And that we did in our team during my PhD studies. And I finished those studies in 2004, and after that I have had research visits, especially to Japan. I really love food and the atmosphere in Tokyo. And I have also had a postdoctoral visit to China, so I have visited Tsinghua University there. Then I have worked at the university as a postdoctoral researcher, project researcher, senior research fellow, and now a research director. So my role as a researcher has changed a little bit during the last five years towards a more of a leadership role. I lead the interactive edge research group where we have around 20 people. I have been able to win a research funding so it means we have quite large projects to run where tens of people work in different faculties. So I really enjoy this position or this work at the moment because I, I have uh, the feeling that we really create impact in the world. So we develop really fast. We develop with the industry proof of concepts, but we also have the possibility to concentrate on research and development uh, of the most interesting things like building algorithms for managing the whole computation in the wireless communication networks. I also have a position as a lead AI scientist in a company called Silo AI. So it's a Finnish company with over 70 experts of AI. Where I want to see myself in 10 years, or uh, maybe not myself, but I would like to see my research group uh, thrive. So one, one of the things that I have noticed is that you couldn't be in this kind of position as a director in a very big faculty, in a big university, if you wouldn't have had the support of your professors and the community that you work in. So even though you have to work hard, you have to pay attention to that. You have to show your best and actually your worst to your community so that they know you and you have to trust them and they have to trust you. So I think I want to help my group members in their path towards tenure tracks from postdoctoral researchers or PhD students. And I want to encourage and support them to maintain the relationships in the community in addition to creating, of course, the top-notch research that they do. Also in Oulu, 
we have a serious need uh, of ICT professionals to work in, in the companies, the hundreds of uh, companies in the area. And traditionally, I guess, computer science and coding and math has attracted more boys than girls. But for example, I have a lot of female colleagues who are really, really interesting and uh, motivated in computer science. So I think uh, it's not something to do with gender, uh, but rather something to do with uh, attitudes and the upbringing of girls. So I was always treated as a, as a fellow member of the society and, and I had the possibility to uh, select myself what I want to do. So I really feel privileged. I know in many places in the world this is not possible for girls yet, but I encourage you to take the path instead of what others possibly think. Of course, you don't know what they think, so you better not start guessing and take your own chart of things.